So guys, I am back with another Lords of the Fallen video and today guys, I showcase to you the location of these incredible S tier agility fist type weapons. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now fist type weapons for me are some of the most fun to use in the game besides those daggers. Now I've actually found a fist type weapon called the final whisper which when you level it up it scales up to an S tier in that agility. These are absolutely incredible guys. They also offer that wither damage to with them. These you do not want to miss. Now you see them on screen now guys the gameplay of them they're so fast they're so nimble they're powerful they're exactly what you want from a fist type weapon. I've got a couple of other fist type weapons. I've used them. I actually didn't really clock on guys that when you actually when you two hand one you actually just get two of them. I thought I was just I don't know I thought I was tripping and then I tested it with my other fist. I didn't know this. How didn't know this? They might have hours of put into this game. How I didn't know this. So when you two hand a fist weapon you just get two of them which is a super super cool feature. Again I, I just didn't know that. So you have the final whisper. When you level this up to a level nine, you will get an S tier in that agility stat. Uh, but obviously, guys, if you can, you want to take it to a level ten, just so you get the maximum damage output from these little beasts. Okay, so how you get this thing? It's actually it's not even far into the game. A lot of the other S tier weapons in this game, as you probably ain't aware, of course, there's a couple others. They're actually end game, and this one is an end game. Now, what I will say is you've probably seen on youtube a couple of other s tier weapon or s tier weapon builds uh, but people are making these videos going on the fact or the basis of how good the build is or how good the weapon feels which is fair enough i mean it is what it is uh, but they actually ain't s tier weapons only about i think six or seven in the entire game and a lot of these build videos you are seeing don't actually include any s tier weapons uh, but this is actually a legit s tier weapon as you can see right there guys once it's leveled up it's got an S tier in that agility. Again, it's the final whisper. And this is where you go. So you want to go to a vestige. Just to so walk to this point. And again, this is an end game. This is right here. The vestige of Brother Jeremiah. This is where you need to come to. So this is where we're going to fast travel to. Or walk to. Now, there's a little bit of a trek you do have to take. If it's your first time being here. I actually do like to showcase... Uh, just on the basis of someone ain't got this already or come to this area already and I want to get the weapon I'm showcasing um, I always show you that's your first original route you'll have to take before we unlock any of the well the shortcuts so from the vestige of brother Jeremiah you want to come out here and actually when you first come to this area you'll come to well you come across here I do believe let me just quickly go across here you'll come I think it's through there you'll come up here and you end up right here guys so obviously you want to run in that room there and activate the vestige so you got the vestige point point. and then guys when you come from that vestige you'll come to this point here and you need to take out this guy this guy here it drops the key we need a key for this building right there so you actually you know what even when you've got the key sometimes you still drop it which is weird so let's just take him down i mean these are just so they're so fast and so nimble I mean, like i can kill him before he attacks me so yeah, so you say that was the key. Obviously, I've already picked it up. Again, so you open this door. And you want to come through this way. And you want to run past all these enemies just like so. Watch him there. He's going to try and cap you in your ass as you're running past. And you want to run around here. And you want to come up this path right here, guys. Now, if you haven't been here already yet, I do recommend you actually looting around here. There's a few of things, but if you're only interested in this weapon, Let's follow this path I am taking. So you'll come here, guys, and then you want to take a left here and another left. Don't go out that door, go left. And you want to come across this like little bridge thing here. Now there's a big guy at the end of this, so you want to be careful with him. Just dodge out of the way and come down this way right here. Just like so. Now here, guys, we're just gonna run past all these, dodging. Weaving away because you will get shot up your ass from some of the big dudes here. So then we're just going to come through this way right here, guys. 
and watch this woman. She will shoot you. There you go. That's it there. That's what you want to do. Ju uh, dodge, not judge. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Okay, so from here, guys, you just want to come down here. And then, through there. As simple as that. And in here, guys, use your umbrella lamp. Walk through. I'll get the box out of the way first. And it's right here on the floor in the middle of this room. This is where you find this amazing fists. Uh, so now, guys, from this way, you can just open this path and come this way. Now, if you are in this area and you're a little uh, confused or you, you don't know where to progress from, I'll show you exactly where you got to go. I've had a few people actually on previous videos ask me where you go from here. Get out of my way, you flipping thing. You know, I might as well just go a number from you. So, yep, yeah, let's go past all these dudes. Come on, dog, get out of my way. There we go. So, because what it is, you do have to progress down there to the Tower of Penance. But to get down there, guys, you have to go grab a key. So, we come from this way here. So, from here, guys, you want to come down this way. You want to take a right, and you want to go up this way right here. Ignore that big dude. And you want to come up here. Just like so. Ignore this dude. And then, guys, you want to come in here. Now, you can put down a seed here if you want to. That's up to you. But you will have to go into Umbro here because you need to climb up this ladder. So, you're going to get up this ladder and go to the very top. Just like so. Now, the key to actually progress is such a, a mission. It's such a mission. I don't know. Well, you know, I do love to hide things in this game. But you're coming around this way, guys. And you're coming around this way. We're just going to run past all these enemies. Run past these enemies. Get out of my way, fool. Get out of my way, fool. I'm just going to come this way. I'm going to go around the edge of this building. Now, this is where you need to be careful. Because if you're a low level, you ain't got much health. There's a dude right there. You can see him with his hammer. But he does a move where he hits himself in the head. That, that will almost one-shot you. You can dodge it. But we just want to jump down straight away. Ignore that dude. Jump down straight away. And here, guys, there's more loot to grab. Grab that. Then jump down again. And then you just want to come out this way. And you want to come down this ladder. So once you come down this ladder. Just like so. Come into this room. There's a door on your right you can open up. Do that. And then guys, we can actually come out of this now. What we should do. Before that red reaper comes and kicks my ass. And then once you're in here guys. You then. Come past all these enemies. Run past them. And the key will be here to pick up so pick up the key and you are good and from here you can go through that gate right there right in front of us or you can take the right door there and come out this way so i come out this way and we're going to go back to where you would to uh progress to the tower of penance but there will be a bus in your way there a little mini bus is easy to take out but there is a beacon down here within the tower of penance at the main bus so it's where you go so you can go straight ahead there guys if you want to or you can come up this way and come through this door right here and if you need an umbral you'll get another i think it's a saintly quintessence from this thing right here we have to be careful because two reapers spawn in here with you just heard them then so grab that and then you come down this way guys down here and right in front of you right now there will be a mini boss you take him out and there you have the tower of penance and tower of penance is a place where there's a bus right at the very bottom. You won't be able to go through that door. You have to go around the left hand side. You take a lift up. You work your way down and around. And you'll end up at a bus. And yes, but yeah. Just for the people that were confused with that. But yes, the evil all guys are actually diverted away from the point of this video, which is these amazing fists. Which I am in love with. But yes, guys, this is how you get coming. What they're called now? The final whisper. The final whisper fists. So do what you gotta do guys to get these amazing weapons. And there we have it guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.